Good morning students. Today I have come up with the question answers of unit 9 Saving the Gharial from your Gulmohar. Let's start with understanding the text. Read these lines from the text then answer these questions. The territory holder surges forward, churning the water into froth with his tail. Now this line has been taken from the text. Based on this line, we have three questions. Question number A, what or who is being talked about? The answer is the male karyal is being talked about who controls that part of the river. Question number B. What does he search forward towards? With what intention? Answer is, he surges towards another male gharial who wants to take over his domain. He wants to scare him off. What are the two possible results? The two possible results are, the male gharial will retreat in fear or both males will fight with each other. Question number two, this also is based on the text. This line is from the text and based on this line we have three more questions. Her 36 babies followed, rather like ducklings. Question number A, whose babies, whom did they follow? The answer is, the line is talking about female gharial's babies. They are following their mother. Where were the babies? The babies were in the nest. They went from the nest into the river. Now, the last question, question number C, is based on the same line. In what way was this unusual? Answer is, this was unusual because baby crocodiles usually need to be carried to the river by their mothers. Now let's move on to answer these questions. These are long type question. What were Vitakar and his team going to do with the X, Y? This answer you will find in paragraph 3 of the text. They want Sorry, they wanted to rear the baby karyas in captivity so that they could ensure that they would survive and grow into adults. Was their work part of a larger project? What project? What made it necessary? This you will find in paragraph 12 and 13 of the text. Answer is yes. It was a larger project. It was part of Project Crocodile, which was set up in 1974 by the Indian government with help from the UN. The Karyals were dying out and it was decided that a captive breeding program would be implemented to ensure the survival of the Karyals. Question number three. Did Vitakar and his team succeed in breeding a large number of Gharials in captivity? Was their project a success or a failure? What made it so? This you will find in para 13 and 14. The answer is yes. Vitakar and his team succeeded in breeding a large number of Gharials in captivity. But their project was a failure. The Karyals were flushed downstream during the monsoon. Question number four. Is Vitakar optimistic at the end of the text? What makes him feel that way? Para 16 you will find it. This answer. Yes, he is optimistic at the end of the text. He feels that people have finally come to understand how important it is to save the Karya. So children, that's all. Thank you.